you give me an example of the type of YouTube production you're talking about, I can be a little bit more specific about uh, how they're filming it. It's pretty easy to tell. But in general, most people on YouTube are self-taping. They're using their own equipment um, or they're having their spouse or significant other uh, press record and point the camera in different directions, you know. Uh, the goal is definitely to keep the cost of production as low as humanly possible. So um, that's how most YouTube channels are operating. There are a crop of shows I've seen on YouTube. Most of them are like sort of talk show style, maybe multicam talk show uh, style, which may or may not have camera operators. Um, you know, if you've got two or three hosts and the camera switching between them, you know, they may just have the cameras locked off and somebody's got a switcher under their desk where they're, you know, manually switching back and forth as, as the uh, person who's talking changes. Uh, they do have some other uh, shows that have like real crews, but they are still like pretty stripped down, bare bones, non-union. Um, it's not a great place to get started in the industry at all. And you know, YouTube uh, tried to take a swing and become a Netflix like streaming service a couple of years ago. In fact, if you watch Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai originally premiered on YouTube Red or whatever they were calling it, and nobody watched it. You know, Cobra Kai is great, and YouTube, the biggest like streaming video platform in the world, could not find a way to connect, you know, Cobra Kai with uh, its audience, which is apparently huge because it's been a big hit for Netflix, right? YouTube has stepped away from being a streamer, so, um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there, but I would not uh, look for a career there. I would not look to be hired by a YouTube production. Uh, you know, if you want to set up your own YouTube show, that's something else we can kind of talk about. But, you know, in general, the budgets for making YouTube productions are so low, it's not really worth um, trying to pursue a career there. You'll have much better luck in the commercial world or feature film and television or things like that.